my vlog welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is rain and if you're a chain subscriber welcome back to my channel um yeah as you can tell i thought we're in paris as you can tell by the background we're in paris uh, we landed in paris yesterday today's saturday by the way um it's saturday may 7th and we landed in paris yesterday the 6th friday the 6th we landed at like 8 14 a.m but the hotel we really wanted to stay in which is where i'm at right now um was booked for like the first day of our entire trip so we had to stay at another hotel which was really really nice but it was just kind of like inconvenient like i felt like i was just like all over the place because i couldn't unpack all of that jazz um so i didn't really vlog i kind of have a montage that i showed you guys prior but um yeah we have gotten to our final hotel um, which i'm going to show you guys like a little clip of it i recorded it before it becomes a literal disaster but we are staying at the grand powers hotel um in paris and it's so freaking pretty like the hotel we stayed in last night was really pretty and i was so nervous i was like is it gonna top can that hotel top this hotel but it it is like 10 out of 10. we have a balcony i can't wait to eat breakfast on this balcony tomorrow morning um but we came to paris for my mom's birthday and mother's day mother's day is tomorrow um my mom's birthday is on monday we just have like shopping planned i'm so excited to like be back traveling like to europe covid restrictions have been lifted um like it's just amazing but i'm about to go unpack my stuff and then i'll show you guys what we get into um for the rest of the day okay guys so i just put i actually put on my robe when we took a nap but now we are headed to dinner we actually have no idea where we're going to dinner we didn't make reservations for today but i have on this top from aritzia um, it's a Sunday best top. I'll link it below. And then I'm wearing my, um, who makes these? Something Anderson, Anderson Bell. These are pants I got in London. I always wear these. I feel like I take them on every vacation. And white shocks, bendy bag, and I need to carry a coat. And we're off. Now I Oh! <laughs> that looks very clean. Is that what you're putting on? Okay. Can you tell my vlog what you have on? Um, okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. I have on... Do it in the mirror. Zara dress from about three years ago collection. Mm -hmm. um, Rain's H&M sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Chanel boy bag. Mm -hmm. Shoes, tell us about the shoes. Gucci uh, loafers. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to put on a Courageous pin. pin. A vibe. Uh-huh. Heartbreak. Okay, let's go for real now. Okay, can I Funny story, guys. So, I got a few clothes from Aritzia before I left. And so I was packing my bag and I realized that there was a tag on my coat that I brought, the leather coat I've been wearing. And then there was a tag, a security tag, on the top I wore to the airport. So, like my sweater. Cool, whatever. Me and my mom left the house early to the airport to go to um, get it taken off. Why did I put on this shirt today and it has a tag on it? Embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. What's this one? Um, but yeah, there's a tag on it. And then we went to Kit, because there's a Kit across from the hotel that we're staying at. And I was digging and I was having such a hard time explaining myself to them. Whatever, I'm just gonna made it through the day with my top on. What's it called?
good morning vlog it is day two it's officially day two of being in Paris and um, as you just saw we had breakfast this morning on the balcony that is something I've always wanted to do but we had breakfast on the balcony it was pretty good I think tomorrow I'm gonna get pancakes though but yeah I just um, I got my mom a massage for Mother's Day so she's downstairs getting a massage and um, I'm gonna get ready and try to get out of this room so that they can um, like um, housekeeping can come and like clean the room because yeah a clean room is like best but um, today we just have planned to like walk around like I really just want to walk around Paris I feel like that's one thing I love about the city is being able to just like as you walk you find things to do um but last night did i talk to y'all last night i talked to y'all like as we were walking but last night we ended up finding this really cute restaurant um it'll everything will be linked like in the video and down below but we went to this really really cute restaurant like a minute walk away from our hotel um the food was super good um i preferred the appetizers we got frog legs escargot then i got like a ribeye and then my mom got my mom got a steak too but all of which were very good. Then we got a um, like French toast dessert, which was really, really good. Um, one thing I love about walking is like you discover new things. Paris is a place that has like a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants, and like I feel like on social media you only see like a select few. So it's nice to walk and like see different things, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready now and show you guys what we have planned for the day. I don't think I told you guys how long we're staying here, but we're staying here till next Thursday. So we got here. We didn't get here la this Thursday. We flew out on Thursday, got here Friday morning. We had a really jam-packed Friday, which I kind of showed you guys. Then yesterday, we chilled, and then today, we're chilling as well, and then we have until Thursday. But yeah, super excited. Happy Mother's Day, and yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Okay guys, so I finished my makeup, and I'm dressed as you can see. Um, I'm about to put on my perfume, and I don't wanna get on here to show you guys the perfume I'm wearing. I'm wearing Twilly, I always wear Twilly, but I think this is a different one than I normally, than you, nor than you guys normally see me wear. But like I said, everything will be linked below. Um, I'm gonna give you guys like a full outfit. And I actually wore this today because I wanted to do like a day to night kind of look. Uh, when I'm on vacation, I like to wear things that like, I can get two outfits in one type of thing. So I'm wearing this um, green tweed blazer from, what's well, more like a jacket, blazer, jacket. Um, from Artsy, I picked this up just for Paris because it gives me very much like Chanel vibes, very like cute, girly, classy, and I love the color. The color screams summer, so I picked this up, and then I'm wearing just an Aritzia, um white crop t-shirt, and then I'm wearing these pull and bear jeans that you guys are going to see better in the mirror, but it's like the pockets, the back pockets up on the side, and then on the back there's no pockets, and then I'm wearing my white shocks with it, which I think is really cute. Um, Ideally, I probably wouldn't wear my shocks, but we're doing a lot of walking today, so I just wanted to be comfortable, so I just opted for like my comfiest white sneaker. Let's get going. I'm going to go pick out my bag. I think I'm probably going to do... Let's go look. Hold on. Should we do Fendi? That's really cute. Or Balenciaga. I feel like I always go towards this bag because it literally goes with everything, and I love that it's crossbody and in Paris. Paris is known for theft. You will get jacked. So I like that I'm able to wear it crossbody. I think I'm gonna go with this. I definitely am gonna go with this. So I don't remember what the last thing we talked about, but we got back to the hotel, changed our outfits because we're going out to dinner for my mom's birthday slash Mother's Day. And let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing basically the same thing I was wearing earlier, but I just put on the matching skirt to my tweed blazer. That's why I wore the tweed blazer today because I wanted to give it like a day to night kind of vibe. Close the door behind you now, please. Okay. So. You see my bag, the other bag would look really good with this outfit, mom, but 
I got the blazer I was wearing earlier. I changed into like more of a tank top because I felt like mine looked too, I don't know, like daytime maybe. And then I'm wearing the skirt to go with it. I think both are from Maritzia, but I think the skirt is now sold out. So that kind of sucks. But then I'm pair I paired it with some golden gooses just because I didn't want to be uncomfortable and I didn't bring heels on this trip. Ideally, I feel like loafers or um, heels would look best, but this is going to have to do. I think it looks still kind of cute so yeah headed to dinner about to uber there and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit so we just got to our place but it's like a train so i booked this restaurant because my mom really wants to do like a train ride and it was like in honor of that but i didn't realize it was actually in a train station like it's actually look this is the train that we get off at like when we come from london i want to say no that one is the it's right there. I think it is. Gare de Lyon. It might be on. I have you. Y'all, we are actually in yeah, a train station. Yeah, this is the train station. Yours. Guys, we are. Should we ask inside here, maybe? Huh? Let me hold. You stay there. Okay. So after a lot of walking, we found it. This is actually hilarious because this is a very nice restaurant. And it's in a little train station. Oh wow. <laughs> that was a drastic change. It is day three, I think. Full day three. It is, right? So, this is a nice little bee. Mm. So, it's Monday at 11.22. It's my mom's birthday. So, today we didn't get breakfast in the room. I think we're going to go eat breakfast now. Either at like a little cafe on the street or maybe kids. Mm. Either or. Or... Yeah, and then we're gonna go find some vintage stores in this area called Le Le Marie. My par, par my Paris. My French is not there. Not there. But um yeah, we're gonna go over there, do some walking around, probably go to like, this little park area I wanna see. Um I wanna see the tower today. Fire by force. But yeah, today I'm wearing which is what I have on. I like this outfit actually. So I have on this dress. Y'all can't really see me. I'm wearing this dress from Zara. I got it like two years ago. And I'm finally wearing it. And I'm going to be wearing it with Rick Owens. A little bit more bright. Maybe. Oh, there's Italy. Right there. Right in front of you. Right there. And with the red sign? Oh, yeah. Me neither. Bitty bitty. This is Italy. They're <laughs> like, fuck you. You can have this spot and that is it. No, we want the grand building. No, 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 no. This is Paris. No, this is Paris. We are the culinary experts. So don't come here and. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just got into couples into the area where we are going to eat and like find the vintage stores and things like that okay guys so we just came to this really cutesy restaurant called i can't say but here it's really really cute i think we're in like the gay area oh <laughs> guys work here but it's really really cute my mom got an espresso martini i got a coke that's so funny oh i love when people pop in your video it's like the little ah uh, the video the video the salad looks amazing the soup looks good too it does it looks like it's not having 
have some like kick, like some flavor. stopped and ate at like this little cute place on that side of town where we were before which was like the trendy cute area and now we came like near Notre Dame because I want to go to Shakespeare and Company which is like a cute little bookstore which tea caddy. the tea caddy oh look that's a nice picture from here um, but yeah we're going to like a bookstore now and we're literally at Notre Dame at the moment we're not gonna go up close to it there's really you can't really even get that close i think it was blocked off yeah fun fact i went into notre dame before the fire these shoes are like hurting the side of like the corner oh it's like a cafe and a bookstore in one Oh wow, I did not know it was like that. Well, it's not that long of a line. The line at the damn kebab place was longer. <laughs> chat but we're sitting here at this really cute bar by the Louvre and by Palace Royale which wasn't all that I think that's the type of place you maybe go in the morning but there was like kids running around it was basically a playground oh. I have cash okay um but we went to the Shakespeare store and I got this cute bag I don't know if I showed you guys Back. My mom got a book. Oh, you want to show them the book? Yeah, let me press for the book. She said show them, show them her book. So it's called Three Rooms. It actually sounds like a pretty good book, and it's small. The books I wanted were too big, so I just left them there. From Sam. Then they stamped it, so like it signifies that you bought this book at that bookstore instead of Amazon. It stamp it on the front. Like, that, it made me want to get one. Because oh, the whole time I was looking at the book, I had The whole time I was um, in there, I was like, why would I buy the book, this heavy book, to take home if I could just buy it at home? But now I want it stamped. Anywho, so we're about to leave here because we just stopped for some drinks. And then we're going to go to Hermes, see if we can get my mom's birthday gift. And then we're going to go to. The mall. How do you pronounce it? The summit. It's not even a mall. It's like a department store. Okay, guys. I had to get back on here to tell you guys a really funny story that my mom just reminded me of. We were sitting at the last bar we went to. Prior to this, we stopped to get just like a Coke, right? And we're sitting there drinking our Coke, blah, 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 blah. And this man comes walking. And he has like a can. can like envision a, can, a, pan, a spray, a spray can. can. And he is literally with the bottle spraying it in his mouth. And we could <laughs> smell gas. We could, you could, like the smell of spray paint, we smelt it. And I thought, not spray paint, it was gas. At first, I thought, maybe, let me not judge because maybe that's how they get down here. Like everybody, every country is different. So I was like, maybe this is a thing. And everybody else was looking at him like, the waitress was like, what the? <laughs> we were all looking like, what in the world? And mind you, all, all as he's walking, like all you hear is the, <laughs> And he's not like covering his mouth. There's no towel he's in the He's not hiding he's it. 
all in his mouth. I was petrified. But to add to it, this was the <laughs> oddest thing we've seen because we just saw a, 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 like a six month pregnant, pregnant woman. woman, big Maybe belly, more. big belly, just just going at Outside, it. Outside, not hiding, <laughs> not in her house, not in a corner, like face back. Like she was, she was, she she stepped out of work. That's what she was. She stepped out of she work. Told Okay guys, so we are back in the room because we had to use the restroom, grab a charger, and now we're about to go to dinner. Well, we're gonna go have like appetizers at one place and then dinner at another place. But as you guys saw, I found we found like a hookah spot and then after we found that hookah spot, I found like two I saw like two more other hookah spots. So yeah. Went to the hookah spot, that was cool. I'll have it linked below because that was really nice. But um I just put on a jacket because it got cold outside. And now we are about to go to dinner. Today was a really good day. Impressed by the day. Oh, but I'm exhausted. Back is convenient because I can just, before I was having to hold my camera um, like in my hand because like it being in my bag with my hourglass, I have to put everything in so strategically for in order for it to fit. So I can't just like toss stuff. Like I can't just bring my camera in and out of my bag. But with this one, I can. So that's why I'm carrying it. And my mom said that earlier we were walking through like the second, whatever what that area is called. But she said this boy was walking right really close to me. And she thinks that he wanted to take my camera out of my hand. And I was like, just take my bag everywhere. How did you find Take my bag. I, I would all day, like since before I had this bag, I would hold my camera with the tripod and then my phone on top. It was in my hand secure, but he probably thought he could steal from me. Obviously, he didn't, but he was very close. So now I'm glad I can just toss things in here, pull them out when necessary. But yeah, this is the vibe for tonight. This is my day to night look of today. Look at the bag, like it's so cute. <laughs> We are headed out. It is Tuesday. Here, put them in here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And let me show you guys my outfit before my mom rushes me out of here. I am just wearing um, Ritzia um, slip dress, blazer my mom thrifted, and my mom's little dad sandals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We just left Kid. We actually ended up eating breakfast at Kid because the breakfast looked good and we were getting a coffee in there because my mom was waiting for a store across the street to open. So we just ended up eating and no Bye, more. Mom. What's the car look like? Great pleasure. Ooh. Can we learn what's wrong? Uh -huh. Now we're on our way to Museum Roden. Is that what it's called? Roden. And yeah. Excited. We haven't really done museums since we've been. Really? You come spot. Why is it asking me that? just finished the Rhoda Museum. Well, we're kind of still walking through the gardens, but this museum was beautiful. Like, beautiful sculptures on the inside, beautiful like, garden area. It's just beautiful. It's freaking hot though. I had to take off my blazer and it's hot. But that's some cutesy pictures, beautiful views, beautiful place, honestly. But yeah, I think we're gonna go eat now maybe. Or go to another museum, I don't know.
all tilted. Okay guys, so I'm back at the hotel just because um, it got really hot. Like us sitting at that restaurant, it was so hot. It's still, like, do you guys see? Like, it's boiling. It's literally 80 degrees outside. But, came back to the hotel, chilled a little bit. I needed to charge my phone. I post, am I crooked? I needed to post, I posted a little bit on my um, story. And we're about to go to the, I'll link it down below, the mall and pick up some shopping. Um, yeah, that's really it. The food I dropped was really, really good. I would definitely recommend going there. Um, I couldn't get a reservation for like dinner or like a reservation at all but after we went to um, the Rodin Museum me and my mom were just like let's go to lunch I know like if there's anywhere you can't get a reservation like if there's a place you really want to go and you can't get a reservation I would recommend going on like a Monday or Tuesday yesterday when we went to that other restaurant Verde or whatever I booked it on open table don't book on open table here I should have known better because I know open table is like an American app like that's how we do things but here don't book on open table it doesn't exist so the restaurant we went to last night didn't work like basically our reservation didn't go through but the woman told us like since it's not a busy night it doesn't really matter like we'll sit you anyways and then the place we went today we went at like a lot of the restaurants close between like they'll open for lunch and they'll close at dinner so they're not open from like giraffe isn't open from 2 30 to 7. so we went at like 1 1 30 and they were able to sit us mind you it's just two of us but there was a lot of tables there so if you can't get a reservation before coming here i would just say go like on a weekday preferably like monday through wednesday like mid-afternoon when um, not many people are here and if you don't have a reservation um do that and don't book throw up a table. Probably call. I think a lot of these places have um, call or they use seven rooms. But yeah, luckily we were able to sit down. 10 out of 10 recommend. Views were great. Food was pretty good. Even though they gave us like Chipotle Tabasco sauce, which is weird. But yeah. Now we're about to go to the mall. What are you wearing, Mom? Huh? About to go to the mall. My mom's gonna change. This dress came in so handy, even though I freaking hate my tan lines. But hopefully, the tan evens out in this hot ass weather. Eight fifty. Ah. I prefer the colorful one. I think you should get it. Matter of fact, I would get them. For me? Some birthday gifts? Just because I was bored. And all those things like this size and you just never knew. What you do in your free time? What? When I was young? I went on phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get on the phone? The landline. Phone. Could you do group call? Or you would hang with people. Could you do group call? Yeah, you used to do that. Yeah. Or, oh, but in England, we never really had that those type of things. Those are more expensive. Um, but in England, you used to, that's how you have relationships with people's parents and stuff. Because you have to pay their house. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just. Oh, look at the strawberries. Look at these strawberries. Chocolate. Those look so good. We just left um, the little bar place at inside of this mall. It's not even a mall. It's more like a Saks, like a Neiman's, or like a big department store with a lot of different brands in it. But we're just leaving there, and we're gonna go downstairs because my mom wants to try on um, a pair of shoes. Oh, 
I've been filming on this camera in the wrong setting this entire time. So my video might come out like dirt. Still have to post it though, wouldn't you? So guys, this video should look like dirt. I've seen people do that too when I watch videos. They're like, the they quality the is not. Smell, like... And I'm so mad because I would figure it out on the last day. Now my now it's giving all cinematic. So I'm sitting in the hotel little, little sitting area because my mom forgot her phone. But um, today is our final day in Paris. So we just are gonna pick up some like last minute shopping. Ugh. My camera is all tweaked. Everything is tweaked. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go find myself something to get from here because I really wanna buy like a pair of shoes or a bag. But I don't wanna buy anything just because I'm, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing, like before I came here, I, there was nothing like I really wanted like there was nothing like oh my god I have to have this thing like it was more so I was gonna be buying something just because of the fact that I was going to Paris rather than me genuinely actually wanting something if that makes sense so I'm gonna see if something I was kind of hoping that something would just kind of stumble like I would see something that like, I couldn't get at home but it hasn't been I haven't had that type of luck so we'll see but we're gonna go to another like, I think we're going to a cathedral today COVID test, breakfast, and yeah, shopping. A little bit more shopping. We're gonna go to galleries, Lafayette, Central. the gallery this I look so much better now than I have in the past in the rest of these vlogs oh my god but we came to the galleries at Lafayette or Gallery Lafayette um, and I finally got myself something I bought these Jacqueline's earrings that I've been wanting for a really long time I saw someone on Love Island in them last season and I was obsessed with them I wrote them on my birthday list but I kind of like forgot about them but they're so cute so so stinking cute I put them on right away because I was kind of tired of wearing my studs, so I switched into them. But yeah, no bag. I've kind of accepted the fact that I'm not getting a bag. And I've moved on. Okay guys, so I'm in H&M and I found this really cute set. I saw it on the hanger. Um, it reminded me of the Cuckoo set. I don't know if y'all seen that brand on Instagram, but I just feel like... It's a dupe for it, but I think it's 40, 40 euros for the top, 50 euro for the bottom. And for that, I might as well just buy the actual thing. Because I'm not too much a fan of these strings, and I'm not a fan of the length. I think I definitely need to go up a size. These are small. I think I need to do, these are an extra small. I feel like I need to do a small. But like if I were to wear heels, it's still really short. Okay, so this is the next thing I picked up. I thought it'd be cute with like sneakers in the summer, but one thing I hate about like H&M, Forever 21, even Zara sometimes, this stuff looks way better on the hanger than it does when you try it on. Like this just looks really like meh, just meh. Okay guys, so I found these pants on Zara like two months ago and they were like maybe a month ago, maybe not two months ago and they have sold out everywhere at home and here. They say they're sold out, but they're, these are small. And I definitely think I need an extra small, but I'm thinking if I get them taken in, it'll be kind of cute. They're just different. Okay, guys, so I just finished getting ready for dinner. Don't mind the messy room we're packing for tomorrow, but I am just wearing this leather, this faux leather top I got from and bear I think while I was in Mexico City and then my Zara jeans that I always wear and I think I'm just wearing white sneakers with it because I didn't bring heels but it would look really cute with heels like that'd be really cute but this is the OOTD or OOTN outfit of the night for dinner and then my earrings I just got it's so cute but yeah um, I'm gonna put on my shoes and get ready for dinner and yeah I'll talk to you guys in a little bit
guys. We decided to come to the Eiffel Tower because I wanted to see it sparkle. Wait, let me do this for you. Come back, come back. I wanted to see it sparkle. So you want me to walk away? It should be sparkling in like 15 minutes or so. And look at it, it's so pretty. I personally love the Eiffel Tower more at night than in the day. I just think it looks a lot prettier. Look. Isn't she stunning? Funny story, my mom put on this beret just to come to um, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, look at this. <laughs> she was wearing something completely different for dinner. <laughs> okay. Can you go back? For what? Do it backwards. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can't. Not at all, actually. What could you can do it like this? Oh, oh that's not how it works. Oh. Lift it. I just said lift it, not twist it. <laughs> 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 okay guys, well I think I'm gonna end the Paris vlog when this starts to sparkle up. Oh my god, I have no earrings on. This is so god awful. I look like a little boy. Okay, fun fact for Paris, this is my last little side note and if you stay to the end of the video, you're gonna get the little side note. I think maybe everybody knows this, but the Eiffel Tower sparkles every night for five minutes at the top of the hour. So, like today, the sun went down at 9.21, so the first sparkle was at 10 o'clock, and it lasted until 10.05. So we were planning to come at 10, but we were at dinner at 10, so the next one was at 11. So it's going to sparkle at 11 till 11.05, and it does that until 1 a.m. So, little tip in Paris, if you want to see the Eiffel Tower shimmer, it shimmers at the top of the hour. I should